Lana oh. has written one, two, three, four books at this point. So far. So far. And you are on uh, KIXI AM 880, uh, Chat with Women. I'm the relationship expert, and we have chats every Monday yep. about how do men and women to get along with their partner, their coworkers, yep. their everybody's. Yeah, yeah, cool. And uh, so the question, the first question that I have for Lana is, why is it that we don't ask for what we need? Because I think it's really difficult to know what we want versus what we need versus what we should want. Because culture plays a big part in telling us what we can and can't want, should or shouldn't ask for. Mm -hmm. But I think the more basic element is feelings get in the way. And as you said, uh, emotion trumps reason. Mm -hmm. In any stressful situation, you're going to tap into all your core emotions. And our core emotions are fear. You know, if the other tribe is coming, it's good to be afraid because you want to run, mm -hmm. get out of there. Mm -hmm. Anger, hey, if they're going to steal all your stuff, you better be ready to fight, right? So you, have, so you have fear, anger, sadness. Got to be, you know, things that are not going well, you can be sad. It's sort of, sort of a cleansing or transition emotion. And then disgust. It looks icky, don't eat it. Smells bad, get away from it. So those are all steroid-laden emotions. So they kind of get as revved up, which is what they're supposed to do. And there's one more, joy. Only endorphin producer. So of our core emotions, those caveman emotions there to keep us alive, only one of them gives you endorphins. All the rest of them give you steroids. Well, steroids can also flood you. So if you're really overwhelmed with steroids, like you have fear, anger, disgust, and sadness all at once, you've got a truckload of steroids. That can immobilize anybody. So if you're going to into a situation that's new, or where you feel risk, or you feel vulnerability, you will have a flood of those. And it is the worst thing the brain can do. Because at that point, the brain thinks we're in survival mode, and we're going to have to fight flight, freeze, or surrender. And none of those put our brain at its best. In fact, for men, it makes, men, it makes it more difficult for men to hear women's voices. So if you're negotiating with a man, a woman's at a real disadvantage there. So I think understanding that everybody has these emotions and that you really want to make sure that you own them, you acknowledge them, and you realize you're not fighting for your life, that you need to breathe, you need to have some joy in preparation if you're going to do something stressful. I mean, you just went for a walk, right? Yeah, I did. So it yeah. gave you a little joy. It gave yep. you a few endorphins. Yep. And it helps you to feel better. Yeah. And that has to be part of a strategy anytime you're in a difficult situation or uh, negotiating for something where you're afraid you're going to hear a no. Right. And yeah. you will. Yeah. As you said earlier, that no's are part of life. Right. But we try to stay away from yeses and no's.